What's going on, everybody? It's Ro. I'm back, and I am going to be sharing with you today a quick and easy recipe to make your own milk at home. Yes, and so today I'm making pecan or pecan milk because a friend of mine had given me uh, a couple of big bags of pecans, and I am also out of almond milk. And so when I realized I was going to be out of milk, when I got up uh, this morning, I figured I'd go ahead and get everything rolling to have me some milk ready. All right, so the first thing that I want to say is you want to soak your nuts. You can soak them anywhere between two hours to 24 hours, um, you know, or longer if you keep them in the refrigerator. And so one of the things that soaking the nuts is going to do is make them softer. So when we begin to blend them, they're going to go ahead and blend up and be a whole lot creamier than they would be if we had not. Another thing um, is with pecans or even cashews, you don't have to worry about having a nut milk bag or trying to strain them because you're gonna already uh, um, you're gonna be able to use the whole thing. Pecans have a very uh, high profile and um, they provide the body with so many nutritional benefits and they even have uh, benefits for men with prostate issues. Yeah, so you might want to go and check that out. So the first thing. I'm going to do is um, show you the ingredients that I'm going to be putting in it. And it's only going to be pink Himalayan salt and maple syrup. That's it. All right. And so what we're going to do is rinse these nuts. And that is going to remove this old water that it has soaked in overnight because that, that water now contains what you call phytates. Nuts, legumes, grains, those tend to have what you call phytic acid in high amounts and that phytic acid is actually in place to keep the seeds from germinating too soon all right that way they can come to fruition and get to a place where they can actually be of value to us the uh, flip side of that if those phytic acids are not removed or at least you know you're removing some of them by soaking them you will have a situation that um where these nuts the phytic acid will bind to certain minerals and uh, not just phytic acids, but also something you call tannins. And it will not allow your body to uptake and use those minerals uh, the way that we would want them to be used. So my recipe is going to be one cup of nuts that I have soaked. And I am going to be using uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of my pink Himalayan salt and about a tablespoon of maple syrup with three cups of water for starters. I'm not really big on uh, vanilla milks and um, really sweet sugary milks out of the stores. So the maple syrup is actually just to increase the flavor profile on here. And um, who don't like pecans and maple syrup, all right? And so let's go ahead, get these nuts rinsed and put them over into our blender and we are going to add the rest of our ingredients and see what we got. Okay, you guys, so before we begin to blend, I'm gonna go ahead and toast these just a little bit, again, to increase that flavor profile, probably about five minutes, okay? And that is just to up the flavor, okay? All right. All right, so uh, as you can see, I've got my nuts out of the oven. They are in here, and I am going to go ahead. It was just, this is a fourth teaspoon, so I'm using half of it. Go ahead and put that in there. All right, I'm going to start with a cup. And I use distilled water a lot of times when I'm doing stuff like this, you guys. But you can use whatever you want. Do keep in mind that um, you don't have to soak your nuts. If you have a high-powered blender, you can go ahead and, and get down with it if you want. You don't have to, um, you know, roast them. Just do what is going to work best for you. But uh, just don't go and buy nuts out the store that's already been toasted and roasted and all of that stuff. All right, here we go. you guys 
that's my nice, creamy and smooth pecan milk. Do remember that if you do not have a high-powered blender, you may have some pulp left in there. Um, maybe it's because the pecans wasn't softened enough, or again, your blender just wasn't powerful enough to go ahead and really pulverize it um, to a puree. Um, yeah, so if you are making coffee you and using this for cream, you may want to go ahead and strain it if that is a problem for you. If you are making smoothies, like I'm about to make me a banana smoothie, it really doesn't matter if you have any pulp left in it or not. Uh, this will keep in your refrigerator up to five days, maybe more. You check it um, to see uh, for yourself if it's still okay with you. Do keep in mind, this milk will separate, and once you start to see it separate, you'll have like the water content showing up down there on the bottom because we don't have anything in here to actually bind everything together. I could put xanthan gum or guar gum or something like that in there and use my emulsion uh, blender, uh, stick blender, but eh, it's not worth going through all of that. If, it, if the water or when the water begins to separate, all you got to do, shake it back up before you use it. And this is a lot of the reason why, even on your packages from the store, it'll say shake well before use. That way you can blend everything all back together again. All right. So that's it, you guys. Hope that you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you on my next video. Peace and blessings to you. One love. I am out.